Tutorial on internext.com. Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on internext. Today we'll be diving into what internext is, what it's used for, and how you can make the most out of it. So if you're someone who values your privacy and security while storing files and data and your images online, this is definitely the tool for you. So let's get into it. First things first, head over to the internext.com website and you're going to be greeted with this very sleek, intuitive and pretty cool a website with pretty self-explanatory interface. So to put it out like this, what is internext? Internext is a decentralized cloud storage platform which is designed with a focus on privacy and security. So think of traditional cloud storage services like Google Drive or Dropbox, but unlike them, they store your files on centralized servers. What Internex does is it splits your files into smaller encrypted pieces and distributes them across a decentralized network. So this ensures that no one but you can access your files, right? Now, Internex also offers cloud storage, file sharing, and backup services, all while protecting your data with end-to-end -end encryption. The company's main focus is to be and to look after your privacy and that way it does not track your activity or use your data for ads. Now let's head over to some of its uh, products, their values and even its features. Some of its key features that all of these offer generally are, let's head over to the pricing plan is where we can look into it. They offer us NNX Drive, which is the one we're talking about, NNX S3, the Send and VPN. All of them speak for themselves. So the first one being the NNX Drive, it talks about the cloud storage. You can upload and store files securely in the cloud. The data is end-to-end -end encrypted and it's also split into fragments before being distributed. So this in essence adds an extra layer of security. Second one being file sharing. You can also share files with others securely. When you share a file, it's encrypted. So, you know, the only recipient can decrypt and view it. So it is super safe. Let's just say you create a link that you specifically share with someone that you want to share it with and only that person has access to it. Next up, it is cross-platform compatibility and backup. Backup, of course, in the next offer is an easy-to-use backup feature allowing you to automatically backup important files from your device to their cloud storage. And as far as cross-platform compatibility is concerned, it works across multiple platforms including web, desktop, mobile apps, so meaning you can access your file from anywhere. Now let's start off by setting up in the next. Now to do that, uh, you will have to log in or click on Get Internext. Once you click on Get Internext, there are so many different pricing plans that they offer. One uh, being of 200 GB, it starts off from 9.2 euros and goes all the way up to 60 euros, which offers 10 terabytes. So basically, uh, they each of these plans offer you encrypted file folder sharing, passwords, accessing your files from any of your devices, guaranteed GDPR compliance, two-factor authentication, and a 30 days money back guarantee all in all with premium customer support. So basically, they're just charging you for the amount of data that you use. It's 200 GB storage up to 10 terabytes for businesses, which is very, very popular here, as they say. Now, after you've chosen a plan, you can head over to logging in. I already have my account on Internex. So I'm just simply going to enter in my credentials and log in. Let me just quickly do that. Now we're going to click on login and it's going to be decrypting the information. It's just going to take a few seconds. And this is how the in the next uh, drive looks like. Now, before we begin, you have signed up and then this is you can also download the app. Keep in mind that NX offers desktop apps for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, as well as mobile apps for iOS and Android. You can download and install the app and use it on your other devices. Let's just say you want to have it on your desktop as well as on your mobile screen. You can have it on both of them. Now, once it's all installed, you're going to log in as I did with the credentials you've created. The app is going to simply guide you through the basic setup. So you can always start uploading your files right away. Now that we're in here, let's take a look. As you can see, it is as uh, just the interface is just like every other cloud storage. Here is how you can upload files from in the drive. Let's try uploading something. Let's just upload this one. The storage is full as of now for me. Here is a drive where there are different um, multiple um, 
folders over here to upload them on the apps dashboard as you can see this option right here is to upload file we just simply clicked on it and selected the files the folders we wanted to store and we upload them onto the cloud so these files will automatically be encrypted and stored across the internet's decentralized network next up is organizing these files now let's just say of course everybody likes organized stuff you definitely like an organized wardrobe and you would definitely love an organized um web space keeping all of your data photographs and documents securing together these are personal these are for family these are for college now to start off by adding another file you're just simply going to right click and click on either upload files upload folder or new folder let me create a new folder that just says work so i know that you know i have four different distinctive folders one for work one is my personal usage one is for family and one is for college so all of them are you know separate not everything is mixed i'm not going to be having family photographs in my work folder or i'm not going to be having uh, college assignments into my personal work so everything is pretty organized here just like any traditional cloud storage service next up is accessing files your uploaded files will be available on any device where you're logged in so if you want to upload from your desktop you can and you can still access them from your phone or tablet now let's head over to the backup section backup is where they are going to set up and manage all of the backups that we have let's just say you want to download your desktop app right you want to put your desktop's backups entirely onto this place you don't want to have it onto your computer because you believe it's unsafe like that you can obviously anytime have it directly on internext this is the shared section where you can share where you're going to be displayed folders that have been shared with you or stuff that someone has shared with you this is recents files that you've recently accessed this is the trash section of course you know this is where all the files that you've deleted are going to stay up for until they're permanently deleted this is the desktop section where basically you know it talks about how the internet can be on the desktop now onto the right hand side of the screen is my account right here the downloaded app the settings logout and here is definitely of course the settings in the settings it's just the general settings which is system light dark language and support option as you know that they have a 24 7 dedicated support center for you now into the account section this is my accounts and you're going to have an idea of how much of data you've used or how much of storage you've used up these are the plans the plans you've currently enlisted yourself onto billing payment method so on and so forth this is for security for security reasons you need to be entering the password before making any other changes right here this is all related to your safety and security it deals with the passwords and two-factor authentication and stuff now comes the part how would you share files securely Internex makes it very easy to securely share files with each other and other people. All you have to do is it will generate an encrypted link for you to share. Let's just say I want to share this file folder. I'm just simply going to right click on it and either I can click on copy link or I can click on share. I'd rather click on share and once I do that, I'm going to send the link to whoever needs that access. They will be able to download that file, but the encryption ensures that only the recipient can view the contents. Now, this is me, the owner. I can choose to protect it with a password as well. I can choose to give it access to restricted access, only specifically added or uh, allowed people can view it, or it could be public. Anyone with the link can access it. Or I can simply click on invite. When I click on invite, we can specifically enter specific people's name and it's just going to be sent to them and only them specifically. Next up, we are going to be talking about few features the backup section offers us. Now, the backups are automatically enabled, right? You can choose which are files or folders your device you want to backup on. Sometimes you want to free up space on your mobile devices like photographs, heavy uh, videos from certain events family events and so on and so forth you just want to free it out and let it onto your computer you can absolutely use internex for that purpose and then you can also turn on automated backup so once you select the folders internex will automatically sync and back them up to the cloud you can also set up a regular intervals for these backups to occur now, in case something happens to your device you can easily access these backups from any other device by logging onto your internex account so to wrap it up, Internex is an excellent choice for anyone looking to securely store, backup, and share their files. Its decentralized and privacy-focused approach makes it stand out from other cloud storages. And 
if or whether you're an individual or a business owner or you run a business, Inanex can help keep your data safe and private. So why not give it a try? Head over to Inanex.com and sign up for the free 10 GB plan to start securing your files today. If you like what you see, you can always upgrade for more stories. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section down below.